Yeah, man. Uh, my name is Kevin Christian, and I'm on remote neural monitoring. You've probably seen my videos uh, about 3,500 plus videos out there about remote neural monitoring and EMF broadcast, which is what uh, this neural monitoring thing is all about. It's EMF mind control neural monitoring. And um, uh, just the basics, every person has a unique EMF signature frequency and this is a satellite broadcast and EMF electromagnetic field is the infrastructure of this uh, system the satellites broadcast through EMF and it's globally is pre-existing everywhere it's perfect uh, it's perfect for a broadcast system um, today's the 14th uh, October 2019 10 14 19 and um, I like to document the things that happen I, I made a short list today um, just because I was really busy um, I just woke up so uh, you know it's the same thing every day I wake up to gang stalkers. Yesterday, I uh, woke up, and yesterday was was a little different than it has been lately. It's been it's been like this before, but um, these guys that are attacking me with EMF broadcast, so they wear this mind control headset. They're on the same neural monitoring that I'm on. They call it being on the machine. Um, I don't I don't think there's really a machine. Uh, they just put the mind control headset on, and then control certain settings because they're on the same neural monitoring so it's like a um it's like a profile like an online profile so you would go on a neural monitoring site and then you would access your own neural monitoring profile and then you there you'd be able to control all of the settings for uh emf broadcast for artificial telepathy who do you want to be connected to on mind control and uh, how do you want to broadcast as what where all of these things are possibilities to be able to configure and there's a lot of different ways that they can do things um, one thing I like to do is check my meter which I always check my meter um, so not much of a broadcast going on right now um, yesterday morning when I woke up as soon as I woke up, within 30 seconds, um, Gang Stalker Marcus did his chirp thing. Now, you might have heard me talking about the chirp before. And what it is, is um, it's a sound. It's an artificial telepathy sound, or V2K, whatever you want to call it. Um, I believe that artificial telepathy and V2K are different things. I think, I think that voice to skull is something from the past that they had available to use for whatever like um more like something that requires a microchip and acts as basically a walkie-talkie built into your skull um remote neural monitoring does not require any microchips and i do not have any microchips and neither do these gang stalkers that are on remote neural monitoring that have access they don't have microchips and neither do we uh, if you have a microchip then there's a possibility that you're dealing with something else. I don't think that um, many people have microchips. A lot of people talk about it and think that they have microchips. And I get messages every day from people and comments saying, you know, here's how to uh, destroy the microchip and all of this stuff. But I don't have a microchip. So that's not how neural monitoring works. Um, but yesterday when I woke up, this chirp sound, it's, it's an artificial telepathy sound. Okay, and they can put the broadcast where exactly they want to. They can live as a broadcast, and with the broadcast, they can um, they could just go right on your eardrum, directly on your eardrum. Okay, as a broadcast, they could be 20 feet tall or uh, or this big, really. And um, with the broadcast, they could go directly on your eardrum, like into your inner ear. They could go right through your skull or anything else. Um, but he does this. It's a guy named Marcus. He lives over here on Howard Circle in Jonesboro, Georgia. And uh, him and several other uh, guys pretty much um, are the ones that I'm dealing with now. It's been different before, but I'm dealing with guys now. And I call them the Flaming 50s. And there's a, a group of them that live over here in a couple of houses on Howard Circle. And they are the gang stalkers that I deal with on a daily basis. And um, 
his one of his things that he likes to do this 54 year old guy named marcus is this chirp sound and whenever he does this chirp thing right on my eardrum it it causes instant hearing loss um not complete hearing loss but i would say 20 percent and it usually takes between an hour and two or three hours to fully recover from that uh, you'll have muffled hearing throughout that amount of time and uh, as soon as I woke up yesterday, that's how my day started. Uh, I woke up and I need to go to work, and uh, and it started out with a chirp, a nasty microwave chirp, at about one something in the morning. Um, so, anyway, uh, I continued on to go to work, and I, I made a small list. Um, and another thing, and I don't know if this is related or not, but it's something that I want to mention on my channel. I did a private video, I mentioned it, all right, but, okay, so, like, right now, I, f I feel fine, right? If I move my arm out like this, like, up in here, it starts to hurt like there's some kind of torn muscle or something, and it, it hurts, like, from, like, here down into my elbow, right? And the more I stretch it out, the more it hurts, so it definitely could be some kind of uh, torn muscle or something like that, I'm not sure, the thing is that two days ago I woke up with that and it's a odd thing to wake up with an injury that you didn't have when you went to sleep. Um, you know, I've thought of all kinds of possibilities. I thought maybe that um, maybe it's something that I could have injured and that was like warmed up. And then when I went to sleep and woke up, it was it was tight and, and sore. But two days later, it's still sore. Uh, it seems to be better now. I just slept for a good eight hours and uh, woke up but I was very concerned over the past two days that that it could be something you know if I if I like pull that pull that skin it like pulls it and it, it's painful um, I was concerned that it could be some kind of blood clot or something like that and um, I, and and I'm always concerned with anything like this that it could be related to EMF broadcast and something that they could have done especially since I woke up with it and it happened seemed to have happened while I sleep while I slept um, it's just a concern and it's something worth mentioning because, uh, you know, if I'm fall over dead from some kind of blood clot thing and then it's somehow related to gang stalker EMF broadcast. And I definitely want uh, people to understand that these guys over here on Howard Circle and um, and, you know, some other gang stalkers that have access to my neural monitoring are definitely responsible for doing a lot of torture and things to me and and causing harm to my body so anything that happens to me is um there's always a probability that it has to do with that so i just wanted to mention that um it seems a little better today so i'm not quite as concerned it's just something that i was uh wanting to put out there in case in case that's it but um anyway i went on to start a list i made a short list for 10 14 I, I started at 2 45 a.m uh, violent heart attack and I called that attempted murder and it was the it was the the first real serious attack uh, on me uh, while I was at work and it's a broadcast attack no I don't have gang stalkers at my job and yes this would happen at any job or anywhere that I went it doesn't matter um, at that point I wrote some people who were responsible and where you could find them because I felt like it was pretty serious um, I, like I said, I was busy, so I just wrote down some of the more serious things. Um, so it's a short list. At 4.34 a.m., continuous, uh, I wrote assaults, butt attacks, uh, and genital attacks, uh, and broadcasting in my mouth. Um, then I made a note to myself about something I needed to do. 4.36, heart attack, attempted murder. Uh, attacking my butt again and my mouth broadcasting my mouth when they broadcast in your mouth you can taste it um, makes your lips burn you can taste it. it tastes like electricity in your mouth it's very disgusting and they had definitely have an intent to harm you that's why they broadcast in your mouth and attack your eardrums and your heart and your kidneys and your eyeballs and all the most important parts of your body um, 5 35 a.m. Damaging left eardrum chirp, same as when the one when I woke up. Um, so about the time that one was completely wore off, they did another one, and and uh, and then started with abdomen torture, and then um, 
the older one, the 59 year old one starts pretending to reprimand his little brother Marcus about these attacks. And that's all part of their live stream. The little show that they put on is, is something that they do on a daily basis. And, um, you know, it's a lot of times one of them be attacking me and the other two will pretend to be telling them to stop and, um, you know, say, oh, we're going to get kicked off his channel and all this type of stuff. But um, it's really played out. And, uh, you know, like when I was a kid, I could turn on certain TV shows, say, by the bell or something. And, you know, there was a high probability that I'd seen this episode. All right. So, um the people who are watching their live streams, they've seen it all because they, they do the same things every day. And it's not much difference to what they got going on. Um, 639, another uh, left eardrum chirp. And what happened at this point was uh, one of the one of the big one of the upper management people um, had me in this office. We were talking about something because uh, I had to fix something that somebody else had did with some paperwork. And. Uh, he, he asked me if I was interested in, um, in a certain position, like a, like kind of a management position. And, and, uh, I was like, well, I don't know. I, I kind of like my position already, but, um, you know, and it seems like the people who get those type of positions, uh, usually don't seem to like it. And it comes with some money, but, um, I think I'd be all right since the, since the management, the, like the real, the big, the upper management, they, they seem to like me and, um, you know, but it's, it, it's something that I would have to think about because a lot of people that end up in those positions, uh, don't really seem to do well or they, it seems, I don't know, I almost want to say it seems like a setup, you know, but it's not, it's not a setup. They just, I guess some people just don't handle that type of position very well, but, um, at that point in time, uh, I definitely caught a left eardrum chirp again, and uh, I call that a punishment for success. When um, when upper management is is asking you if you might be interested in a position, the position is not even open, but it leads me to believe that maybe they're thinking about making some changes. Uh, I don't know, but I told them, yeah, I probably I'd probably do it. You know, if you guys ask me to do it, I'd probably do it. Um, you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> It really, it really makes me happy to know that, that people consider me, you know, when, when they think about those type of things, they, they think about, you know, Kevin. So that's a good thing. That means that, um, that means that I'm doing well, I guess. Um, I got a long way to go, y'all. I got a long way to go, uh, to get my life where I wanted it, want it to be. Um, I would say at this point, I'm at least back to where I was before the gang stalking started um but you know i went through i went through a thing back in like 2012 and i could have been on remote neural monitoring then but um i'm pretty sure i probably was but i definitely was not being gang stalked um i took it upon myself to not make the right decisions at that point and i um yeah i went through a breakup i was with somebody for seven years and i went through the breakup and um, at that point, I could have really got my life together as an individual. Uh, it was already pretty much together, but I really could have um, catapulted myself to another level. But instead, I kind of, um, you know, I kind of slipped into like a lot of dating and and uh, just running around and not really prioritizing the correct things. Um, instead, I was... Uh, I was lost a little bit and that's what happens you know a lot of times if we become single especially because I have been in a relationship for seven years and prior to that I wasn't single for very long I had been in another uh, like seven eight year relationship and so it was really looking like 15 years almost that I had been tied down uh, since like since like high school and so I'm um, kind of telling y'all how old I am <coughs> oh, excuse me but um I could have made some different decisions and really been on top of the world by now, but uh, I didn't. I didn't. And then this gang stalking thing started. 
uh, really kind of in 2014, but I was definitely in 2013 starting to experience a little bit of things that were negative about all of this and got involved with some of the wrong people and, um, you know, and gang stalking came up. Next thing you know, my life is really starting to get destroyed. And so I'm just now really getting back to where I was. Okay. And now, um, you know, I'm single, but I've been single for a long time. So I'm used to being single and I like being single. And, um, you know, it's going to take a, it's going to take a pretty serious situation to change that at this point. Um, I'm not trying to fix nobody else's life or, or, uh, take on a lot of problems because I'm not trying to bring any problems to the table. And it's really not a, a big deal to me. Of course I get lonely and, uh, whatever, you know, Music is the biggest thing for me. Music is the biggest thing for me. I dance and I'm getting all right at that. And um, and I, I make music and I listen to music constantly, all day, every day. Um, you know, when things ain't feeling right, I can turn on some music. I always feel better. It's, it helps me a lot. It really does. And music is a huge thing for me. And, um, you know, a lot of the things that were destroyed as far as, becoming gang stalked and some of the my personal uh, relationships and things like I'm starting to mend those and um, I have a long way to go I have a long way to go but I'm getting there and I'm gonna get there and that's the thing and this gang stalking thing is just a problem it's just a problem but I'm trying to exploit this and uh, see if I can figure out any way to use anything to my advantage even negative things so um, I got a long way to go, but I'm working on it. I'm going to get there. So, um, it's, it's important. It's important to, to be successful and to do things that you love. Uh, all right, back to my list. 6.52 AM. Uh, I wrote worst ever head attack, definitely attempted murder. And then 7.20 again, worst ever head attack, definitely attempted murder. Um, mouth broadcasting my mouth again. That's all I wrote on my list. Um, at that point in time, they, like, they, they attacked my head, right, with this broadcast thing, and I was like, oh, God, like, I wanted to cry, man, and it, it was so bad, it was like the worst pain you can imagine, and I mean, bad enough that they're like, for real reprimanding people and like making them stop or whatever, like, it was so bad, and that happened twice, uh, yes, or this morning, um, it's it's so painful when they do certain things just so bad the attacks become so violent and so bad um it's there's nothing it's nothing short of attempted murder when that type of thing happens um so that's all of my list for today so far um it's been as soon as i wake up they start talking it's like they jump into a frenzy fumbling over each other to say stuff at kevin christian and um they're very desperate people, you know, I, it's hard for me to understand them really, but, um, my focus is not on them that much. My focus is more on myself and, um, I got some things to do today and, uh, the day's already getting late. So, uh, I'm going to try to do some more things to be successful. I got some other things lined up and, I'm doing a lot. I'm trying to do a lot. And it's really a long-term thing. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have instant success and, and be rich and solve all of the problems today, but I'm going to work on them today. And it's going to lead me into more days of working on them. And then at some point, all of my problems will be solved. All of these problems that I have will be solved and I'll be successful and I'll be where I want to be. And from that point, I'll probably keep working towards something, you know, and, and helping other people to realize their dreams. And that's, that's just where it's going, man. That's where it's going. That's where I want to be. So, um, it's easy to get discouraged, especially when you look at your life and it's such a mess and there's so far to go. Uh, but you gotta, you gotta just keep working at that and it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy at all, but it's, it's something that you can achieve. 
So anyway, my name is Kevin Christian. I appreciate you guys watching my videos.